Early morning, April 18th, I was lying in bed. I left around 8 o'clock, and I got to Charleston at about 12.30. I was on the road early and got an alarming phone call from Tim, who is our Golf Now Plus specialist, about a fire that had happened at Legacy Golf Links. Probably one of some of the most disturbing news I've ever heard. Cobb County 911, what's the location of your emergency? Hi, there's a fire at Legacy Golf Course. Do you see black flames or black smoke? The whole building is on fire. Our clubhouse was fully engulfed in flames. The clubhouse was unrecognizable, and the initial reaction was deflating. We had a lot of customers, people still showing up that day trying to play golf in the same shock that we were in. The hardest part about everything from a business standpoint was just letting people know that we are open. One of the things when we first bought Fox Week and Legacy was the ability for the golfers to be able to gather points through a player partner program at Fox Week and Legacy. So if everything you purchased, you gain points. Both Legacy Golf Links and Fox Creek Golf Club have Golf Now reservations as their point of sale and electronic tee sheet. It's a unique situation because the courses talk to each other through their Golf Now reservations so that players are able to retain points at both facilities. So when the fire happened, the server burned and there was no access here at Fox Creek Golf Club. So what we did as a team was move the server onto one of the locally installed computers here so that they were able to gain access and get their operation back up and running that day. When we first bought the two golf courses, we didn't have the Golf Now point of sale. We didn't have the Golf Now database like we do now. But when the fire happened, we lost that. And you know, they really very quickly came to our rescue, not only by giving us the, the point of sale and the cash register and the ability to book tee times again when we were working out of the cart barn at Legacy, but very quickly thereafter, once we got into the trailer, the two golf courses were still not talking to each other. They came in, they helped us out very quickly. The players are starting to get their points again. Other than the looks of the building, from a business standpoint and a relationship standpoint with the golfer, we are absolutely back up and running where we were. And I don't think that without the partnership that we have with Golf Now and all the men and women that work with them, for us to get up and running, it just would not have been able to happen that quickly. Being a PGA professional and getting that phone call, I knew what Go Tom and Chris and the rest of the staff were going through that day. I felt very lucky to be there and be able to help them through this hard situation. And it really shows how strong our partnership is with Fox Creek and Legacy. When you lose business, the amount of time that it takes to grow that business back it takes a lot of partnership with a lot of different people and not only with the golf nows of the world that help you get your business up and running. So I would tell all the various operators out there that even though this is golf and even though that this is a recreational activity, it's so very important to reach out to your local businesses that are in the area and partner up with them or at least reach out and say, hey, we're over here, we're over here, how can we help each other? Because I think when you get to points like this where you have a lot of difficulty or you deal with a personal uh, item like this, a catastrophe, you'll be surprised how your local partners in the area will reach back out to you and say, hey, I'm here to help, because someday down the road they may need something from you, and those partnerships that you develop are very critical, especially in small communities like Smyrna just outside of Atlanta.